This is a heart-wrenching story about Jamie Marie Daigle, a young girl who lost her life while swimming in shark-infested waters. This tale is not only about tragedy, but also about people's valiant efforts to save her. Join us as we unravel this heart-rending account. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more awing stories. Jamie Marie Daigle, 14, was vacationing with friends on June 25, 2005. Jane was in Florida while her parents Ronnie and Wendy and older brother Nicholas were home. Jane enjoyed the waves of a Florida Panhandle beach on Saturday, June 25, 2005. Jamie and friends were on a Gulf of Mexico beach. In 2005, the Gulf witnessed another tragedy. Before starting high school, she enjoyed time with her friends. Jamie was fated to never be a freshman. Good start! Jamie and Felicia Venable, 14, swam in the Gulf and played on the beach. They enjoyed themselves and the beach. The two teenage girls then ventured farther from shore beyond the first sandbar. The two crossed the second sandbar. Jamie and Felicia found themselves 100 yards from shore, far from lifeguards or concerned adults. Why the girls swam that far is unknown. While swimming, they saw a dark shadow below the surface approaching. Before they could react, the shadow became a hungry shark. Its small beady eyes and sensitive nose only sought prey. The girls, so isolated, were easy prey. No time to act. It bit Jamie Daigle's leg. Shark submerged the girl. It took part of Jamie's leg when it fled. Her hip to knee flesh was torn, exposing her bone. Blood pooled around Jamie instantly, turning the water red. Felicia Venable, Jamie's friend, panicked and swam erratically toward the shore. She saw her friend dragged under the waves and mauled by a fierce animal. Her horrified screams attracted several beachgoers. Despite not knowing what happened, they all acted. 23-year-old Chris White, a state health inspector and volunteer firefighter who had just gotten his EMT license, didn't know there was a shark in the water. He saw a screaming girl swimming frantically to shore and an empty booty board. He initially thought the girl had drowned. He acted anyway. Onshore beachgoer Robert Atkinson saw a fin and a blood pool. He sank. Atkinson knew the scene was real despite its bad movie appearance. No cheap horror movie was filmed on the beach that day. He witnessed a nightmare. Another man in the water noticed something was wrong and intervened. A scream startled 54-year-old surfer Tim Dykus. The man looked around and saw Felicia, Jane Dangle's friend, swimming fast toward the shore. The girl appeared desperate to flee. Dykus reached Felicia's frightened spot slowly. He instantly understood her when he arrived. Tim Dykus saw 14-year-old Jane face down in a red bloody circle of water. Dykus quickly realized the girl was bleeding, and he and the girl weren't the only ones. Dykus spotted a shark. The animal attacked the girl and appeared to want to try again. The beast would attack again. Dykus placed the unconscious girl on his surfboard. The hungry shark pounced. It tried to bite Jane's hand off, but Dykus and the others who wanted to help her didn't let it. The 54-year-old surfer pulled Jane ashore. Shark followed. Chris, 23, swam toward them to help. Felicia Venable, Jane's friend, couldn't tell him what happened. She couldn't speak in fear. Dykus screamed and hollered before Chris White reached Dykus and James Shark, Shark. Older man screamed. White and another man with a raft reached unconscious Jane Daigle and Tim Dykus. Unnatural water movement surrounded them. The shark waited to strike again. Chris White pulled the girl into the raft from Dykus's board. He ignored the shark swimming beneath him. None could afford an attack. The brave rescuers stopped swimming and stood vertical in the water. To appear less like food, they only gently dangled their legs. Duck is led. The surfer punched the shark in the nose, which temporarily deterred its attack, giving them the courage to swim toward the shore. The shark wouldn't leave despite Dykus' efforts. The surfer resisted six shark attacks. Dykus repeatedly punched the animal in the nose until Jamie Daigle reached the shore. Paramedics could not save the 14-year-old girl. The tragic story of Jamie Marie Daigle reminds us of the dangers that lurk in the ocean and the bravery of those who risked their lives to save hers. If you enjoyed this video, 
Please like and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories.